Hi there, as you're hopping on, we are doing yoga. You do need a mat. I'm gonna tag Drew so he knows how to find this. So one bar is on. All right, so we're gonna start the music. Make sure you have your mat. We are gonna start off with some core work and um, both that and the yoga you're gonna need your mat for. So make sure you are ready for that part. Um, let's get the music started. And then once we do, uh, I'm gonna be over there on the mat. If you're wearing shoes, you may wanna take them off. Socks can sometimes also be really slippery, so just be careful with that. Child's pose. 
heels just to stretch out your back a little bit more. Reach your hands over to that right corner of your mat. Doesn't matter which side, really, as long as you're going to do both. And we are. So inhale back to the center. Reach over to that other side. Easy. Inhale back to the center. Sink those hips back. Reach your hands out a little further. Good. And then nice and easy. Let's come up to all fours. All right, so we're going to start with your core workout first. I hope you feel a little more stretched out and loosened through your hips. Don't worry, if not, we're going to be doing that the whole time. So brace your core, lengthen your spine, stretching the crown of your head away from your hips. Relax your shoulders down, and make sure that your weight is evenly distributed in your palms, all the way out to your fingertips. So think about the heel of your hand, the base of the fingers, your pinky finger, and your thumb. And line those up so that your thumbs are rotated out a little bit towards the top of your mat. Soften the elbows as in, scoop the belly for yogi crunch. Inhale, press open the body. So here we're going to get a little stretch and we're going to start to work your core. Every time you scoop that belly for yogi crunch, squeeze your abs in as tight as you can and then easy release. So if you've ever taken bar, this is where that tuck comes from. Belly button squeezes in towards your spine. In Pilates, this move is actually in Pilates. Okay, and then let's come in one more time to that scoop and hold. We're going to tuck those toes and lift those knees up in a hover. Abs engaged. We're going to tap them down four times. So we're going to tap four, three, squeeze your abs, two, and one. Lowering the knees down, untucking the toes. And then inhale, press away one arm, lower it down, press away with the other arm, big reach. Good, and then nice and easy, shift the hips to the heels, stretch, inhale, sink forward, palms engaged, scoop your belly, tuck your toes, and lift the knees eight times. We're gonna go eight, seven, six, squeeze the abs, five, relax the shoulders down with your ears, Four, three, two, and one. Nice and easy. Inhale, reach away one arm. And the other arm reach. Get an easy release. Hips to your heels. Big stretch. Stretch out that spine. We're going to inhale. Come back to the center. Once again, wrist them to your shoulders, knees of your hips. Scoop the belly. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees and hover them, tuck them down, tap them down 12 times. 12, 11, 10, 9, hovering the knees only about an inch. 7, last 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice and easy, lower, untuck the toes, reach away right arm. This time hold, 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 squeeze your abs. And switch, other side. Reach and extend, hold. Good. And then reset, hips to your heels, big stretch out in front. Extend those arms out. Forearms down. And then interlace the fingers if you want, or keep the number 11 with the hands. Shift your weight forward. And then nice and easy, we're going to step back on one leg, and then the other for an elbow plank. Brace your core. Squeeze your abs in nice and tight. We're going to tap those knees down again for four, three, two, one. Lower down and hold. Untuck the toes. Shift the weight forward into your forearms. Press open the chest. Reposition the elbows if you need to. Take a gaze over your right shoulder, center, and then the left. And then nice and easy. Come back to center. Forearms engaged. Brace your core. Lift your hips. Tuck the toes, pick up the hips, hold your elbow plank, abs in. We're going to tap those knees down again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down, untuck the toes, press open for your chest. Take that chin over your shoulder on the left side, stretch open your side body. Center, other side. Good, let's do one more set. You know we're going in for 12. Press those forearms in, abs in tight. Find your elbow plank. Modification of the knees down, you guys. And you're just gonna pick them up, okay? 
Choose your option, lift or lower, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, try not to rush, <laughs> 3, 2, and 1. Everybody find the knees down, untuck the toes, press open the chest. Option to push those heels of the hands in and really press up in the front of your body. If you don't like that, then stay here in your forearms and just lengthen across your collarbone. Inhaling, palms outside the chest. Quick reset, child's pose, six to your heels. Press them down, reach those arms out. And then nice and easy, we go on to shift the weight back into the palms, taking your time. Wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna get a quick stretch and then transition to do that flow on the other side for core. Inhaling up, opening, exhaling. Thread that arm under the armpit, drop that shoulder down. Inhaling that top arm up and tucking it under if you want, that other hip. If you don't like that option, just keep that top arm down. Two big inhales here. Exhale, push away. Keeping the knees under the hips. Inhale, up on the other arm. Exhale, thread it through. I see comment. Maybe it's Robin and Drew. Again. Hey, you guys. Stretching out the back. And if you like, you can do a big inhale here, thread it through. You guys, this is just a quick stretch. Um, don't get too cozy, we need to finish up the core segment. So, inhale, exhale, and then your next, exhale, pick up that arm, shift it away from the floor, or either way, shift away from the floor, come back to all fours, and we're actually gonna shift those knees in, taking the hips back, extend the legs out in front, holding here to stretch out the back of those thighs, big inhale, Exhale, chest over those thighs. Stretch out the little back. We're gonna take both hands over to the right side. Inhale, open. And then switch both hands over to the other side. Inhale, open. And release. Find your way back to the center, stack that spine, come up tall, roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And then nice and easy, let's scoot down to the bottom of that mat. Hips come back down, low back presses in. Hands are gonna go behind the head, elbows wide. We're gonna do torso curls here. But you have to really make sure you close that space of rib to hip, squeezing the abdominals, and using your abs to lift your shoulder blades up off of the mat for your crunch. As you tight, really squeeze at the top, keep your elbows in, keep this move basic. You might be tempted to do some tricky stuff here, but just keep it basic. Squeeze your abs in. Lift your shoulder blades up and exhale down. Start inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale down. We're going to do two more. Last one. Keep your chest open and hold at the top. Palms reach out towards the sides. We're going to reach one ankle and then switch other ankle. Keep your shoulder blades up off of the mat. Reach and extend from your shoulder to your fingertip as you reach out. Keep the chest open. Don't hunch here. Chin off the chest. Squeeze and squeeze one side and the other. Closing that space, rib to hip, working those obliques. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and relax and stretch back onto your mat. Hands outside the hips. Press your heels close to your bottom. And slowly peel your spine off the mat one vertebrae at a time from your tailbone all the way up to the top of your back, pressing open through your hips, pressing open through your abdominals, pressing open through the chest, inhaling, pressing open here. A lot of times it's hard for people to achieve good core stability and ab stability because their glutes are too weak. So really important to stretch out the hips strengthen the glutes and balance out any core work that you do um, and the sitting position, right? So we're gonna tap our buns down four times. Get ready. Four, three, two, and 
one. And then slowly release and relax your back down to your mat one vertebra at a time. And hug those knees in for a quick stretch. All right, so we're going to have two more segments there. Don't worry. We're going to drop those feet down, back close to the bottom. Hands outside the heels. Engage your core and reach side to side. Abs engage, closing that space, rib to hip. Keep squeezing. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, nice and easy, up and hold, squeeze. And then slowly release your back down one vertebra at a time. Abs engaged, shoulders roll back down away from the ears. Firmly press your shoulder blades back down to your mat. Lengthen across your collarbone, press open through your chest and heart center to the sky. Inhale, ground your heels close to your bottom. And then slowly begin to pick up your tailbone, the low back, top of your back, all the way up to you. Press open the front of your body, helping us to get a stretch through the hips, which most people neglect, unfortunately, causes a lot of low back issues. We're going to tap the buttons down to the floor eight times. See if you can hover without touching eight. Squeeze the top. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your buns. Last two. And last one. Lower the hips. One vertebra at a time. Lower your back down. Imprinting your spine. Hugging those knees in. Pressing your tailbone down. Stretch out the back of those hips. Easy rock side to side if it feels good. We have one more set there with those oblique reaches. Lower the heels. Inhale. Exhale. Scoop your belly. And take your palms right outside your hips. We're going to reach side to side. So remember with this work, and especially with yoga, you get a stretch on one side as you contract the other side. So really reach as far as you can down towards that ankle. Open up one side, squeeze and squeeze, keep breathing. Four, three, chin off your chest, shoulders relax, and one. Slowly take that back down and print your spine. Press those shoulder blades back down to your mat, roll the shoulders, open, lengthen across your collarbone, press your palms in, and get a nice firm press into the mat with the back of your shoulders. Try to push every area on the back of your shoulders down to your mat. Inhale, then exhale, peel your hips off the mat. One vertebra at a time, all the way up to the top, pressing open through your hips. Keep pressing the shoulder blades down, opening across the collarbone. Hands outside the hips. Core is engaged, pressing open the front of the body. And 12 taps down. Hover, you don't have to touch if you don't need to. 11, 10, if you are tapping, it should be quick and squeeze back up to the top quickly. Last six, five, squeeze at the top, four, three, last two, one, hold the top, and then slowly lower your back down one vertebra at a time from the top all the way down to your tailbone, and then nice and easy, hug those knees in once more. Hug the knees in, press the tailbone down, and easy rock side to side, massaging the low back. Okay, so from here, let's do one last thing for core. Landing those legs on tabletop, hands outside the hips, press the shoulder blades back down into your mat, abs in, we're gonna keep the right leg in and press out the left leg. And switch, engage your core. If you wanna make this more challenging, peel your back up off the mat, and reach those arms down, but staying long across the collarbone, switch and switch the legs. Exhale, inhale. If you want to help for the stretch, you can hug them in, but your highest difficulty is gonna be here. With the uh, shoulders elevated, chin off your chest, switching the legs. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees come in, stretching out the back once more. We're going to lower those heels, open up those arms to airplane, and then just windshield wiper the legs a couple times. Take them side to side. You don't have to go really fast with this one. Holding to one side. Inhaling, opening across the chest. All right, so here's the deal. We 
we are going to move on. We'll get a little bit more core work, but for the most part from here, we're going to be focusing on stretching the hips. And I should have asked you guys if you have any special requests. Hips and shoulders. Inhale those knees back to the center. Hug it in. And grab behind those thighs. Let's rock up to seated position. Option to elevate those feet off the floor, one leg or both. If you have both, you can be here. You have tabletop. And we're gonna reach those arms out, side the legs. Bracing your core, holding here, holding. Lengthening across the collarbone, lowering the shoulders. Abs in. From here, we're gonna just do a nice, light tap to the floor. If you lower both legs, just do a single kick away from the floor. So you can be either one is fine, legs are long, or knees can be bent. So we're gonna be here a little longer, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice and easy, lower the legs. We're gonna grab behind those thighs, press open the chest, and then nice and easy, gently we sink up to that seated position where we started this segment. So starting nice and tall, lengthen your spine, long legs, big inhale, exhale, forward fold, holding here, melting your chest over those thighs. This time nice and easy, we're going to take both hands outside of that right ankle, inhale, open on one side, inhale, other side, big inhale, open, Press open the chest and release. Relax. Once more in that forward fold, taking the chest over the thighs. Slowly walk those hands back, coming back to your seated position. Shoulders roll. Heading in for a spine twist here. So bending one knee, crossing it over that opposite straight leg. Hug it in, sit up tall. Look back over that right shoulder. Inhale that right arm up. Take it behind you, close to your bottom. And lengthen out your spine. Inhaling, exhaling. Every time you inhale, get taller through your torso. And when you exhale, sink more deeply into that twist. And inhale, coming back to the center. Hugging that leg in one more time. Sitting up tall. So they're nice and easy release. And we switch. Other leg comes in. We cross it over. So as soon as you come in, cross it over. Sit up tall. Ground that hips into the mat. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale up on that left arm. Float it down behind you. Close to your bottom. Push into the mat. Look over that shoulder. Twist. Every time you inhale, get taller. As you exhale, sink more deeply into the twist. Holding. Good. And exhale. Ease everything back to the center. Extend those legs. Shake them out a little bit, and then we're going to flip back over to your hands and knees, okay? So we're back over to your hands and knees, wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're going to tuck those toes once again, but this time we're going to go from baby bear to downward facing dog, abs engaged. And from downward dog, inhale, plank, okay? Abs in, wrists under your shoulders. If you need to reposition your hands, that's fine. We do a little flow, so lower those knees down, come back to your all fours, quadruped. This time you're going to reach away your left arm, lower it down, and then reach away your right arm. Lower it down. Nice and easy, tuck those toes, baby bear, abs engaged. Shift your hips back, downward facing dog. Abs in, and then press your chest to your thighs, lift your hips, peel your heels, roll your body forward into plank, hold, abs engaged. And then gently lower those knees, coming back to all fours. Inhale, reaching away on that left arm, hold. And switch, other arm. Squeeze your abs in tight. Both palms down under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, baby bear, holding. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, shift the hips back. Inhale, plank, roll your body forward, hold. Lower the knees down. Inhale, extend on that left arm, hold, squeeze your abs. And on that right arm, reaching out, squeeze the abs. Squeeze them in tight, tight, tight. Last time, baby bear, tuck your toes. Squeeze your abs, lift your knees.
downward facing dog. Hips come up, press that chest to the thighs, holding here, we're gonna reach away one leg, bring it down, and then switch other leg. We're gonna do that two more times on each side, and then we're gonna keep the right leg up, extend. One leg, push it up long, bring it down, switch, other side. Squeeze your abs in tight one more time on each side, and we're actually gonna hold on the right one next time. Reach that leg up, squeeze your seat. One leg up and hold, just that right leg. Brace your core, we're gonna shift the weight forward, bring the knee into that elbow, and then inhale, take it back up. Three more. Exhaling, inhaling, one more time, bring it in, hold. Step the leg through, kneeling or crescent lunge, high lunge. Inhaling, press the open the chest, the heart center. Holding here, drop that knee down, untuck your toes, press open the chest. Exhale, palms back down to the mat, press open those hips, and then inhale, open that right arm, look back behind your shoulder. Reach tall with that arm, that back, reach for the sky, align the shoulders, open your chest. Exhale, close the arm down. And we just gonna rock this one back. So rock it back, hamstring stretch, and inhale, shift forward. Three more times. Exhale, inhale, stretch out those hamstrings a little bit more, stretch out your hips, two more. Last time, inhale, shift the weight forward. Nice and easy, take that leg back, landing in all fours. Roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, exhale, tuck those toes, lift your knees, hover. Exhale, downward facing dog, chest to the thighs. We're going to extend this time the left leg, squeeze the seat, and lower. And then the right leg, squeeze the seat, abs engage, switching one and then the other. One more on each side, and then we're going to hold on the left side, okay? This left leg stays up, engage the core, press your chest to your thigh, holding. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring that left knee in to the left elbow. Exhale, sorry, inhale, exhale. Usually we exhale on the down dog, but this time we inhale. So you can exhale, contract the abs, pull the knee in. Inhale, pull it in, and holding here. Step that leg through, kneeling or crescent lunge, to high lunge. If you want to, that back knee can be down, that's your choice. Either way, you get a really great hip stretch, power up through the back of this thigh, even if that knee is on the floor, and press open your chest, heart center, relax the shoulders, reach those arms up high. Everyone lowers the back knee. Inhale, exhale, those palms down inside of the front foot. Try to align this ankle under the knee. Press the palms down, untuck the back toe. Inhale, open up that left arm this time. And an easy release. We lower back down, shifting those hips, put that foot back, or your hips back, sorry, <laughs> and forward. Here. We're gonna rock those hips back and forward so we get a little bit of a hamstring stretch here. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's do that one more time, rocking your hips back, hamstring stretch, and forward, holding here, and then gently step back on this leg so you land in all fours. Knees under the hips, wrists under your shoulders. One more time, we're gonna scoop the belly, press open the chest, and then nice and easy, inhale, neutral spine. Last thing we need to do, you guys, is pigeon. Lengthen that left leg and thread your right leg under for pigeon. I like to line up this foot with the long edge of the mat so that it's more squared up at the top part, which is easier on this side than it is on the other one. If you don't have a block at home, you also can use a sweater under the hip to make sure the hips are side by side. What you don't want is for that hip to be way up. You'll see on my other side, it'll be like that. This is our last really good stretch for the day. You can stay here, or you can come down to your forearms. You also can extend your arms all the way out. It's up to you. Just relax into those hips. Give you a nice big inhale and hold it at the bottom. And as you exhale, slowly release, emptying your lungs from the top all the way to the bottom. Melt your hips into the floor.
forward. We hold a lot of tension in our hips and in our shoulders. And when you can release the tension in your body, then your stress level will naturally go down. Inhale, press your palms into your mat, shift your body weight away from the floor, tuck your back toe. We're gonna come into a plank or modified plank. Both knees, legs drop, drop back. And then nice and easy, lower the knees. We're gonna take those hips side to side, draw on the arc. Keep the chest open. Take your time. If you feel like you need this little stretch as your hip comes down, a little longer on one side, remember this is your practice. I'm just here to give you ideas. All right, so back to the center. We're gonna keep that right leg out this time and shift that left knee in and begin to thread that left leg under. I like to try to get my foot parallel with the edge of the mat. And then nice and easy, sink down to those forearms if it feels good. Or you can stay up tall, it's up to you. But you want that figure four with that front leg with the other leg stretched out behind you. Try to roll that heel on the back foot back here up towards the ceiling and square your hips, which you might need a prop under this hip. I don't have a prop, you guys. This side is a lot less flexible for me. I should have uh, brought my block, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> it's in my closet. So pressing open through your hips, inhaling, exhaling, lengthening across the collarbone. And remember, if you want to, you can come down here. Perfectly fine. Again, let's get a nice big inhale, fill your lungs from the bottom all the way up to the top, and as you exhale, and empty your lungs and relax. Two more breaths here. Deep, slow, cleansing inhales and slow, releasing exhales. stress levels, okay? All right, so glad you guys were here. Namaste. Thanks, Drew. All right, great job. I'm glad Nisa made it. I'm glad you're here, um, all of you. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, on the schedule, I believe we have total body strength, so it is going to be a little bit of our hit, but more focusing on strength than the cardio. We're just going to alternate those so we get like a little more strength through our day. And um, I'll put a good stretch at the end because I know we really need that. I was realizing that I need to be doing yoga more when we're doing those, some of those. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. You guys, I always like to um, finish with a quote for some of my classes. And I'll start doing it here too. Remember that greatness isn't something that is achieved in one big impulse. 
It is one step at a time. So if it's something that is important to you to accomplish, take that step every single day. So exercise every day, or if you are a writer, we write every day. It's step by step. And through those steps, if you can find enjoyment, then your success is guaranteed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Exercise success guaranteed, whatever else you're working on, step by step, day by day. It's a nice little container to take care of your big goals. This is never one big impulse, right? All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Great job, you guys. Great energy.